Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of English with Sarvi. Well, in this episode we're going to talk about assessments in online classes or private lessons, one-on-one -on -one lessons that you actually don't work for an institute or a school and you don't have any exams, you don't have any form of placement and you want to um, do placement for your students to understand which level you should put them in and also be able to evaluate your students. So all in all it will be about placement and assessment. If you're interested, keep watching. I started teaching one-on-one -on -one lessons uh, for me it was not that hard understanding how to do placement tests but um, for some teachers that actually get separated from uh, institutes or schools or they see like they have got more um, private students coming to them and they don't actually need to work for an institute anymore which actually I am going to talk about the reason why we shouldn't isolate ourselves from institute that's another topic for those uh, teachers I'm gonna share uh, like a placement test the written form for you to be able to see it and use it right in the description box below but that is not going to be enough for you to understand exactly how to evaluate that student and put her or him in that special level you also need to do an oral test what should we do with the oral test? How should we choose questions? It's gonna be easy. Just open the book, look at the content, or in some other books, you have got some can-do statements at the top of, um, I mean, the beginning of each unit at the top of the page, uh, or the first page of each unit is gonna tell you like um, what you're gonna have, have to cover in that unit. So take a look at that and try to come up with some questions like two or three questions that can tell you whether that's the answer to those questions the answers that your students are going to provide will tell you whether that student has got good command of for example present simple in this unit can he or she talk about their own family members can they use apostrophe s i myself don't exclude this placement session from the paid sessions of students. It's not like 10 minutes, 20 minutes of just the speaking. Because I myself personally cannot evaluate or assess a student's knowledge of a topic based on one question or two questions. Sometimes I need more time. Sometimes with some students, I take my time and I tell them that it's gonna take two or three uh, sessions for me to be able to tell you exactly which unit and which book we are going to work on. And it's a one-on-one -on -one session. I mean, it's a one-on-one -on -one class. There are no uh, supervisors, managers, or anybody that can restrict you and limit you. So the good part, I mean, the advantage of that is that you have more time to have a more accurate assessment and placement from your student. Take your time and explain before you begin to your student that this is going to be a process. It's not gonna be just one session. If you think that you cannot come up with their level at the end of one session, I have never seen anybody rejecting that or saying that they don't want to do it. If you reason with them first and tell them how it's going to work, then they're going, they, they are usually understanding about this and try to design it in a way that at the end of the session, you talk about the problems with the students, not exactly problems, but the weaknesses. Sometimes I even tell them that, okay, while I was asking questions, I figured out that maybe you are not able to talk about your own family members. All right. If you know their mother tongue language. This is going to be good that the student knows what are the can-do statements and what he or she will learn by the end of that book with you. This is going to be um, somehow nice for them to understand and it will give them an awareness too when you are teaching. <coughs> The other thing which is important uh, is the assessment at the end of each term or at the end of the book. It's your decision. It's a one-on-one -on -one, 
a class. Again, nobody is going to tell you whether you need to have assessment at the end of each term or at the end of the book. My suggestion is that uh, at the end of each, uh, let's say, three, three units, four units, have a form of uh, assessment. For me, usually for my general students, it's not written. Um, because usually people that come to me for classes want to, general English classes, want to mostly work on their speaking skills. So the assessment is in the form of my students' needs. If they want to work on their writing and speaking, then that is what I'm going to give them. But if they are trying to work only on a speaking, and a speaking is the most important skill for them, then it will be from, again, the can-do statements of the units that he or she has studied. Uh, again, some questions that I have designed, I start asking those questions. Uh, usually it's like one session. So I ask questions, I receive the answers, I try to write down the errors, the things that I hear, but I don't interrupt them, okay, when they are speaking. I give them time to talk and I write down their errors and at the end of the session I give them those sentences, I ask them to correct them and then I tell them, okay, write these sentences down as we are entering the new unit uh, let's keep a record of these errors and whenever, for example, we see you missing, for example, ed at the end of the past form of a verb, let's go back and put it right next to this error and see exactly how many times you have repeated this error so that we can reduce it and we can make you aware um, of your repeated errors. This is how I evaluate my uh, students. Again, if you want to have a written test and you want to include a written test, you can use the workbook. It's a very good source. You can select some exercises from the workbook or you can use the placement test. Again, the, the one that I have put in the description box below at the end of the book or select some of the tests from it add some exercises from the workbook and have a form of written test too, um, depending on your students' needs. Remember that you don't have to do everything that you were doing when you were working for school or institute. Uh, your hands are not tight anymore. So uh, take your time and explain things to your students. I mean, inform them because when you inform them and when you reason with them, then it will be understandable for them and you will have less conflicts. Here is the end of another video. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like the video and share it with your friends and tell me how do you assess your students? How do you do the placement test? Bye-bye.